various ways to say, uh, to express agreement or disagreement means if you agree or disagree, what do you say? Okay, so we're going to start. Uh, this was a leftover lesson of yesterday. So I just like changed the numbering. It's, it's, it's actually 31 to 39. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write, I'm going to ask Hassan to read the first one and then Burnham um, decide if you agree or disagree. Okay, Hassan, go. Some Canadians are superficial in dealing with other people. I agree with you. I, I know why it took Burham a long time to say I agree or disagree. Because I, I think Burnham, you are trying to figure out the meaning of superficial, right? Superficial, I don't know. Okay, superficial means fake. Ah, okay. Means they're smiling, uh, but, but they hate you. No, I, do, I, I disagree. Okay, so, yeah, okay, so, okay. We're just doing agree, uh, disagree or disagree. So yeah. some Canadians are superficial in dealing with other people, means like Canadian people, uh, they smile at you, they say good morning to you, they say, excuse me, I'm sorry, but they don't feel it. No. Do you, do you think they feel it? No, I don't think so. Uh, I, I disagree. They are, they are very sincere. They, they are uh, uh, okay. friendly yeah. something. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's your, that's your opinion, right? Yeah. And uh, we, but because what we are doing here is uh, we are doing agree or disagree. And, you know, you can only agree or disagree based on your experience, right? Okay. And, and, uh, and Burnham, in your experience, you have positive, only positive experience with the Canadian people, correct? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, Fierala, ask Valentina, uh, read to Valentina number two. Now, before you read, if you don't understand one word, ask me, because when I inject new words in sentences, those new words are intentional because you are level six, seven. I need to teach you words or vocabulary that will elevate your English. Okay, I'm gonna read, but I don't know what means. Uh, profanities. Profanities are dirty language or impolite language. Okay. Profanities are very common in Canadian workplaces. Valentina, agree or disagree? I disagree. Okay. Valentina, do you work? No. Okay. I've never worked in Canada, but the Canadian people that I have, uh, I knew is like polite. And, and you don't agree because in your experience, not in the workplace, Canadian people have clean mouth when they speak. Is that correct? Yes, Andrew. Okay, no problem. Okay, Penny, talk to Allison, number three. Patronize, uh, patronize means support. Okay. Support. Canadian do not uh, patronize Canadian movies. They prefer to watch American movies. I agree with you 100%. So when you say Canadian do, Canadians do not patronize Canadian movies, it's very true. I went to a Canadian movie downtown Toronto uh, like seven, 11 years ago. You know how many people were inside the cinema? Four. But American movies, 120 people. Think about it. Okay. So anyway, um, Diana, read the next sentence to Nina. Yes. The Mina, the Canadian passport is well respected around the world. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. This one, I know it for a fact. When I went to France, when I went to France in 2013, I was in Paris. I was in a lineup. 
and I have Canadian passport. When I presented my Canadian passport, I had no problem. They just let me in. But I saw some people, they have a different passport. They will told to go to the side and they double check them in France. Are you following me? <laughs> so I know that Canadian passport is well respected in the world. My only hope and wish is that the immigrants who come to Canada, they should protect the integrity and the name of the Canadian passport. Alejandra, Alejandra and Ahmed. Uh, Alejandra, please read number five. And Ahmed, agree or disagree? Okay, I'm gonna change you, Alejandra, because you are not, you, you did not turn on your, okay. Um, uh, honey, can you please read this to, to uh, uh, honey, please read number, number five, too small, um, it's here. Number Canada five. Is, Canada is a great place for uh, seniors to retire. I agree. Yes, okay. Uh, Ahmed said, I agree. Okay, so, okay, yeah. Um, okay, so anyway, um, Mamun, talk to Maritza. Number, number six. Okay, uh, many, uh, no, number six. Yes. Many forms of discri uh, discrimination still exist in Canada. Absolutely agree. Mamon, do you also agree with this? No, oh, sorry. Yeah. Yes. Well, um, and, and this is not just in Canada. It exists in many places in the world, you know, even in your country. And I'm not talking about your country. I'm talking about Think about your country. You go to the shop, and if you are not rich, people talk to you differently. Yeah. If you are, uh, when you enter a shoe store, they look at your shoes. If your shoes are ten dollars, they know what kind of person you are. But if you're wearing something very expensive, it happened to me, right? But not now. Uh, one time I went to a shop. I don't want to tell you where. And I was wearing a $12 pair of shoes. The lady did not talk to me a lot. Okay. So one time I entered a shop wearing a suit because I went to, um, I went to a graduation and I was looking handsome. Uh, and uh, in my opinion, <laughs> I um, like the, the, the same lady like uh, uh, spoke to me and said, hi, good morning, sir. How are you? May I help you? You know what I mean? And so in Canada, sometimes you apply for a job and then they see your face, they see your beard. Like I have, a, you know, I have a friend, I told him, he said to me, oh, Andrew, I want fashion. I want to grow my beard like this long. And then I told him, don't, don't do this. You will have a problem in the future. Your problem and your problem is gonna be secret. It will not be told to you face to face, but they look at you and think of you in another another way. So don't grow long beard. And, and then so I, I hope he listens to me. Um, okay, so anyway. So um, okay, next let's have Ronald and Shala. Uh, Ronald, please read the number seven. Okay. Uh, many foreign trained professionals end, end up working as security, works, factory workers, cleaners, sales, sales clerks, or cashiers in Canada. Okay. Uh, do I have to say this agree or disagree? Yep. Based on your feeling, right? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Can you repeat it, Ahmed? Sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, many foreign trained professionals end up end up working as security security guards, factory workers, cleaners, sales sales clerks, or cashiers in Canada. Uh, I agree. Yeah, which is very sad, but like as I said, a lot of these people, mm -hmm. they are not sad about this. They are not angry about this because remember, uh, I don't know if I told you or my maybe another class that your happiness, I mean, your satisfaction in Canada normally depends on why you came to Canada. If you came to Canada because you want to be rich, it's not easy. But if you came to Canada because you are looking for freedom, respect, and safety, then you are in the best place. Are you following me? So um, if you are looking for the best education, in my opinion, it's, it depends. Okay. So, so it depends on your intention. Okay. Why did you come here? If you are running away from a country that is not safe, Canada is the best place for you. Okay. So like Fiorala last night said, if you come to Canada, live in Canada, stay in Canada, it doesn't mean that Canada is the best. It just means that you're okay in Canada. Okay. Okay. So, um, it's good to teach level six, seven, because you get a lot of intelligent ideas. No? Okay. Next let's have, uh, Valent no, no, okay. Just a second. Uh, Alejandra, can you hear me? Like Alejandra said that her internet connection is not so good. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Valentina. We, I, I had a problem with my camera. I, uh, okay. I, uh, yes, okay. uh, Valentina, please read to Alison, uh, to, to Alejandra, the next question, number eight. I mean, the next sentence, number eight. Alejandra, most top students in Canadian high schools are children of immigrants. I agree with you. Everybody, look at number eight, everybody. If you have children uh, studying in Canada, you should be happy because the top students in Canada, 90% of the top students are children of immigrants. Okay. So uh, when my son was in grade 12, my son, we, I trained my son so well. I taught my son reading, writing, essay, things like that. And my wife taught my son mathematics and science. My son lost to a girl, to a Chinese girl who was a newcomer to Canada, only, only 14 months in Canada, went to, went to grade 12 and my son lost to her one point. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, um, my son was sad and I said to my son, you know, I said to my son, don't worry about it. You know, being a good student is not about points. Okay. So, so yeah. So, um, but that really affected my son a lot. So immigrant children are really very intelligent. Okay. And remember this, everybody, if you speak three or four languages, you are normally very intelligent because your brain can adjust to different languages, you know what I mean? And then, but the other people who speak only one language, normally when they try to learn a second, it's not easy for them. Like for example, me, if I learn, if I try to learn another language, I can easily learn because, the, because my brain can take many languages. Like for example, and I can speak languages of other people with the correct accent like you know okay next um
Maritza talked to Nina. Read the last one. Canadians are very welcoming on the of the immigrants. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Yes. Okay, so you agree that Canadians are welcoming of the immigrants. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So now listen, everybody. The sentences that I taught you yesterday and today about like statements around the world, about Canada, about those are just sample sentences that you can agree or disagree. And uh, I just wanna less uh, I just wanna let everybody know that I am not asking you to believe them. Okay. I'm not asking you to believe them. I am not telling you that I believe them, but I just want to have something for you to talk about to improve your English. Okay. So uh, if you look at this, okay, I created this today. Um, okay, so here we have expressing agreement. We have 12 expressions or sentences that you can say if you agree. And the black box, you have 12 sentences that you can say if you don't agree. When you don't agree, do not always say, I don't agree, I disagree, I don't agree, I agree. You know, you've got to use different beautiful expressions. Okay, so I'm gonna start with um, Ahmed. Ahmed, can you please read number one to one to three with feelings? You have no sound. I agree. Absolutely. Absolutely agree. Yes. So when you agree. Put your energy into your speaking. I agree. I agree. Like some, okay, for example, Andrew is a good teacher. I agree. Don't say, I agree. You know, if you do that, people don't believe you. You've got to have energy. I agree. Hassan, can you say, I mean, uh, Ahmed say, I agree. I agree. Absolutely. Absolutely. I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree. Yeah, yeah, speak it this way. Then you are, you, you, your English is better. Okay, next, let's have um, Alejandra. Yes. Read four, five, six. Okay. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree with you more. Definitely. Okay. Um, Alexandra, can you say, I mean, Alejandra, can you say deaf? Definitely. Definitely. So when, when you agree, you say, oh, definitely. Do you think Canada is a good country? Definitely. 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 Do you think Canada is a good country? Oh, definitely. Um, Canada is a very good country. Oh, I couldn't agree more. Canada is one of the best countries in the world. I couldn't agree with you more. You see, with feelings. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Um, Alison, 789. Most definitely. That's correct. That is so correct. Yes. Okay. Um, Alison, do you like, do you like, uh, What is this Peruvian food? Okay. Ceviche? Maybe oh. ceviche? <laughs> you know me, eh? <laughs> okay, Alison, do you like ceviche? That's correct. Okay, no, no, do, no, do, no, no, the, the, do the number seven. Okay. Most definitely, yo. Okay, most definitely. Like with drama, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, love, I like ceviche very much. Uh, one time, uh, Ronald, um, uh, one time we went to Oakville and one lady from Peru, she's a friend of your wife. 
and uh, she had this promotion, like, you know, like a fundraising. I don't know if you were in Canada already. We went there and we ordered this uh, Peruvian ceviche. Oh my God, delicious. The people from Peru, they have the best ceviche in my experience. I'm sorry, Colombian people. I tried ceviche of Colombia. I didn't like it. They put seafood. They put some uh, squid, calamari. I don't like it. I like only fish. Okay, so, um, so uh, here, here, Allison, you say drama. You say definitely, most definitely, that's correct. That's correct. That is so correct. That is so correct. Okay. Repeat, Alison, seven, eight, nine. Most definitely. That's correct. That is so correct. Yes. Okay, next, let's have Burhan. Yes. Burhan, 10, 11, 12. That's absolutely correct. That's true. That's so true. Oh, my God, Burhan. <laughs> Perfect accent. Thank you. You got it 100%. Thank okay. you. So, um, okay, so I, I know the reason why, um, but I don't want to tell the class. Okay, so anyway, okay, now, okay, so that's absolutely correct. Now, remember, everybody, when you are agreeing with somebody, remember to put your heart into your speaking. Like, that's absolutely correct. That's, that's true. That is so true. Okay, now on the left, on the right side, you see expressing disagreement. The drama is different when you don't agree. Okay, so let's have Diana. Diana, can you please read the number one, two, three? Me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Number one, two, and three, right? Yes. Uh, I disagree this part, right? Mm -hmm. I disagree. I'm sorry, but I disagree. I'm afraid I disagree with you. Yes. Okay, like for example, say, somebody says to you, somebody says to you, you know what? The reason why you are not successful in Canada because your husband is so lazy. So <laughs> that's your sister talking to you. You see, I disagree. My husband works very hard. Yes. Okay. Hard worker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Next. Okay. Uh, Pirala five six seven. No, no, four five six. I'm sorry, but I beg to disagree. I totally disagree. I'm sorry to tell you, but I don't agree at all. Very nice, Pirola. You know, Pirola, what I, what I like about your reading, Pirola, is you know you don't agree and you you put a little bit of anger into your disagreement because <laughs> you think that this person, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, you know? Okay. Um, okay. Pirola, can, can we? Uh, Pirola, please read the number six, okay? Number six. Uh, Alison, can you say to Pirola, um, say to Pirola, um, if you, okay, you say, if you say sorry to the boss, you can take your job back. Okay, go. If you, if you say sorry, <laughs> if you say sorry for your boss, you, you can, can, you can take you your can, job back. You can take that job back. I'm sorry to tell you, Edison, but I don't agree at all. <laughs> you will not say sorry to this boss. <laughs> in fact, in fact, you're going to call, you're going to report him to the government. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, next, let's have uh, Hanny, um, 789. Um, I beg to differ. I'd uh, I uh, I'd say uh, the exact op opposite. I can't see. Sorry. Just a second. I said the exact opposite. That's not always the case. Okay. Now, if you look at seven, eight, nine, everybody, I beg 
to defer means my opinion is not this i mean your opinion is not the same as mine my opinion is different if you think if you think canada uh, if you think uh mississauga is a good place to buy a house i'm sorry i beg to defer and then you say i prefer ottawa okay so i'd say the exact opposite like for example uh ronald says to burnham oh andrew is the best teacher in canada and burnham says <laughs> I say the exact opposite. <laughs> you understand it? It means I don't agree. Andrew is opposite of your, what you're saying. He's not the best in, teacher in Canada. He's the worst teacher in Canada. Look at him. Looking, he thinks he's handsome, always smiling, trying to, to win the admiration of the students. <laughs> but think about it. He's not really teaching. He's just telling a story. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, anyway. Um... Okay, now look at number nine. That's that's not always the case. Means maybe you are right, but but in many cases you are wrong. Okay, so for example, you say um, the boss gave a the boss gave you a promo. Uh, the boss will give you and the other workers a promotion because we always work harder than other companies they say oh that's not always the case we got the promotion because we are good it's not because we work harder than the uh, than other companies okay so next um hassan 10 11 12. okay that's not always true i don't look at it that way Oh, come on. You know that's not true. Yeah. So these sentences are beautiful sentences that you can use when you don't agree with people. You know, don't always fight and tell people, shut up, stop it. You know, like you, know, you say, um, I I'm sorry. Okay, okay. I'm going to do a 10, 11, 12. Uh, I'm sorry, but that's not always true. I don't look at it that way. I don't look at it that way means you look at it this way, but I don't look at it that way. I look at it this way. It means your opinion is not the same opinion as mine. It's like I beg to defer, right? And I don't, oh, come on, you know that's not true. Someone is telling you blah, 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 you know, blah, blah, blah. You always argue with me because you don't want to pay me the $10 that you owe me. What kind of person are you? I thought you were a friend. And you say, oh, come on. You know, that's not true. I don't want to pay you. I want to pay you. But the thing is, I don't have enough money today. If you check my wallet, my wallet, I only have $5. And I need this $5 for my bus tickets. Okay. Okay. Any question here? No? <laughs> okay. Next. Next, we have, okay, 13 to 24. 13 to 24, let's have Hilalai. Um, we're gonna go faster. I'm gonna ask Hilalai to read. All of it? Uh, uh, no, only 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, go. Okay. okay, that's for sure. You are absolutely right. I think so too, I believe so. Yes. You see beautiful sentences, right? Mm -hmm. That's for sure. You're absolutely, you're absolutely right. I think so too. I believe so. Okay. Like for example, I think if we work, I think if we finish early today, we can go home. You know, you're talking about in the workplace because, mm -hmm. because tomorrow is good Friday. And then you say, um, I can, and then, and he lies it number 14. You're absolutely right. Or you can say, I think so too, because you, you're not sure, right? So mm -hmm. you, you think so too, because it means you agree to what he said, but you're agreeing to an opinion. So you can say, mm -hmm. 
Not I, I think so too. I believe so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, let's have Mamun. Uh, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh my God, there are two 20. 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. Yes. We have two 20. No way. Uh, Mamun, Mamun, look, look lower. You see, no way. Ah, okay. No way. Give me a break. You think so? You really think so? No, no, wait, wait, wait. wait. Why are, no, no, you, you have to read the, the positive, the agreement. 17, 18, 19, 20 on, mm -hmm. on white card, right? Not black. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, no, uh, no, don't, don't read the black. Read, read the white one. Oh, yeah, yeah. So uh, all of them in the in the white one? No, no I 17, read the black. 18, 19, 20. Okay. Exactly. No, uh, no debate about it. No, no, no about doubt. It. No doubt about it. No doubt. No doubt about, about it. I have no doubt at all. I have no doubt in my mind. Yes. Okay. 21 to 20, 21 to 25. Let's have Maritza. No question about it. I have no question whatsoever. I agree with you 100%. Precisely. You got it. Yes. Okay. Now let's have Nina expressing disagreement 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, now Nina, let's put some drama. Okay. Um, Burnham, I like you to ask Nina the same question. You say, you say, uh, you say, do you want to marry me? Okay, Mina, you're going to read number 13 to number 16 um, one by one. Okay, Bernard, go. Uh, Mina, do you want to marry me? I don't think so. I don't believe so. No, no, no. Uh, Bernard, you have to repeat the question. Uh, Mina, do you want to marry me? I don't believe so. Um, okay, and then you say, you say, you want to marry me because you love me. Okay, go. You want to marry me because you love me. Tell me. I don't look at it that way. And then you say, come on, marry me. I'm rich, you say. Come on, come on marry me, please. I am so rich. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Beautiful, you see? Beautiful. Okay, next. Uh, let's have Merita. Merita, are you ready to read? Yes. Okay, Merita, please read uh, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, in the first one or second one? The black one. Black one. Okay. Yes. No way. Give me a break. You think so? You really think so? Interesting. No, no, no. That's it. That's it. Okay. Okay, to 20. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so if you don't agree, you can say no way, no way. <clears throat> um, okay, now for example, for example, um, for example, uh, Ahmed, can you hear me? Yes, it's true. Ahmed. Um, Maritza, can you say, uh, Maritza, can you read the number 17? Okay, wait. Okay, Ahmed said, Ahmed say to Maritza, come on, let's dance. I know you want to dance with me. Okay, go. Maritza, come on, let's dance. I know you want to dance with me. No way. <laughs> no, but Maritza is too strong. 
<laughs> no way. <laughs> I don't know how to to be more so softer. Strong, you know, like I'm a I'm a this good looking. <laughs> But no the way. way is it, no way it's like okay, it's like uh forget it. <laughs> Thank you, but no way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 21 to 24. Let's have Ronald go. Interesting. It's so interesting you said that not necessarily. I'm not sure about that. You see, when people say to you. Mm -hmm. uh, when people say to you and you don't agree, do not do not always be direct in saying I don't agree. You know what I mean? You can say, hmm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, you know, okay. you can say, it's so interesting you said that. Or okay. not necessarily. Yes. Or I'm not I'm sure, sure about that. that. I'm not sure about that. Okay. Okay. Okay, for example, for example, Ronald uh Burnham. Please read number 24, Burnham, okay? Uh, Ronald, say to, to Burnham, uh, you say, I think Maritza likes you. Okay, go. Uh, I think Maritza likes you. I am not sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, because you don't agree that Maritza likes you. You are so insecure. <laughs> You think, oh, I'm old, I'm 62, you know? <laughs> you see, no, 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 everybody, everybody think about it. You see the sentences? Everybody, do you like the sentences? Yeah. They're beautiful, right? Yes. Yeah. Instead of saying, I don't agree, you know, I don't think so. You know, you can say, oh, I'm not sure about that. I think Marisa likes you. I'm not sure about that. Well, but she's so friendly with you. She will marry you. Ah, it's not necessarily. <laughs> but you do you like her? Do you want to marry her? Oh, no way. <laughs> you know, instead of saying, I don't agree, I disagree, you know, there's so many ways you can say. Okay, next. Okay. Now, oh, that's good. Okay, now. Everybody, this is very special. This, these, number one to number 10. Oh, no, no, what? We forgot the, the negative. Okay. Okay, wait, we forgot the negative ones. Um, this one. Oh, yeah, we did. We finished, right? Huh? Okay, so now. Uh, let's have Shala. Okay, before you read Shala, you're gonna read number one to three. Everybody, these sentences, you've gotta remember, are best when you agree with something that is negative. Are you following me? Like, yes. for example, for example, you say, for example, um, Shala, you say to Valentina. Uh, no. Look at that. Uh, you look, look at the new worker. She is new and she's always going home five minutes early. One day she's going to lose her job. You see, this is like a negative, right? Negative thing. And if you agree with this, then you can, you can use number one to number 10. Okay, uh, number one to number 10, they are not the best expressions to agree when you are giving somebody compliments or good description, okay? So here you say, uh, Shala, Shala, I'm gonna, Shala, I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna give you uh, sentences and I'd like you to read number one, two, and three, and four. You got it? Okay. Shala, Shala, you know what? Uh, the prime minister is taking, uh, it, it, okay, we, we are, we are, okay, now let, let me come up with a good sentence. I don't want something political, right? 
this morning I became political. <laughs> um, you know, um, you, you know, you, you know, Shala, the reason why the plant died is because your mother in law overwatered it. I couldn't agree more. You see, you're agreeing with something that is negative. So you can use the number one. Okay, number two, uh, Shala. Shala, you know, um, if you want, uh, the, the reason why, the, the reason why um, Anna left her husband is because her husband is a playboy. I couldn't agree with you more. Yes. You see, you're agreeing with somebody, something that is negative. Shala, Shala, if you want to secure your future in Canada, don't waste a lot of money. You have to save money for your retirement. I am afraid. I have to uh, agree with you on that one. Yes. Shala, Shala, you know, um, if you go to college, I mean, if Maritza goes to college and does not waste working at Dollarama, she will have a better future in Canada. That's, and that's exactly how I feel. Everybody, are you following me with this lesson? You know, when you agree with something that is negative, oh, that's exactly how I feel. Means, okay, this sentence says, I couldn't agree with you more, means I agree with you 100%. Not more. It's 100%. It's perfect. Or I couldn't agree with you more, means I cannot agree with you more than 100%. It's already 100%. I totally agree. I'm afraid I have to agree, agree with you on that one. Means I do not normally agree with you, but this one, I agree. <laughs> Are you following me? And number four, that's exactly how I feel. Means what you are saying to me is exactly what I am thinking. So your feeling and my feeling are the same. I agree with you 100%. Okay. I hope you're following me because you are not reacting. Okay, next, Valentina, please read uh, five, six. You know what, Valentina, just read five to 10. Just read, okay. I was just gonna say that. Tell me about it. You're not kidding. You can say that again. You hit the nail on the head. You said exactly what I was thinking about. Yes. Okay, so um, number five, I was just going to say that. It means you took the word out of my mouth. You took the word out of my mouth. I wanted to say this, but you said it. It means you did not really, I was not really thinking about it. It's just a way to say that I agree with you. Okay. And then number number five is okay. Number number six is tell me about it. Tell me about it means you don't need to tell me about this. Because I agree. It is not like you have to tell me about it. No. It means tell me about it means you don't need to tell me this. I know it. It means I agree. Like, for example, you say, Burnham lost his job because he's always late and he is always on the phone. And he said, <laughs> tell me about it. It means you don't need to tell me this. I know this. I saw it. I have proven it. So when people say, to you, tell me about it, and then they roll the eyes like, their eyes like this, <laughs> tell me about it. You know? <laughs> okay, next we have, you can say that. Uh, uh, no, number seven. You're not kidding. You're not kidding means you're correct. You are not, it's not a joke. You're not kidding. Uh, for example, you say, Valentina, uh, um, Valentina lost, uh, uh, Valentina left her husband because 
the the husband is <laughs> but if you know, he's single right uh, because the husband is a womanizer you know womanizer everybody womanizer yeah. means so many girlfriends <clears throat> okay and <laughs> And then Bernard said, that's why I'm careful. <laughs> okay. Uh, next, you can say that again. You can say that again. Okay. You, when you say this sentence, you have to stress that. You can say that again. You can say that again. Means you can repeat that sentence again and again and again. And I will agree with you again and again and again. That is the meaning of, you can say that again. It means you can tell me this every day and I will always agree with you. Okay. Now, when people say to you, you can say that again, they are not asking you to say that again. It means they agree with you. Everybody, you got it? Yeah. Okay, next. Number nine, you hit the nail on the head. Okay. This is a hammer. You know hammer? This is the nail. You nail. Now, this is the nail has a head. When you hit the nail on the head, means you got it exactly right. You said it exactly right. You hit the nail on the head. Okay, for example, you say, uh, for example, you say, well, this is the third time he got a ticket driving, speeding, does not respect the law, arguing with the police, you know, one day he's going to lose his license. And I say, <laughs> you hit the nail on the head. It means I agree with you 100%. Okay, number 10, you said exactly what I was thinking about. It means, it means I was thinking about it and you said it. Okay. So if you think about these 10 sentences, these 10 sentences are sentences that you can say, especially, I'm not saying always, especially when someone is telling you something negative and you agree with this negative opinion. Okay? But for, for these other sentences, these, you can use them for positive and negative but for this these you normally can use them when the sentences are negative normally i'm not saying always okay now the black one expressing disagreement expressing disagreement uh the gender read number one to number six that's kind of funny that's interesting wow you are something oh my you are character you are kidding are you uh, are not you no 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 you're kidding you say no you say you're kidding aren't you you are kidding are not you no aren't 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 you aren't you? you are kidding aren't you i can't believe i am hearing this now when you don't agree and someone is gossiping to you and you don't agree you say oh my god i can't believe i'm hearing this you know what i don't want to talk about it let's go to tim hortons grab coffee then you did not really support him right you did not support the person and but you express to this person that you do not agree with what the person is talking about. Like, I can't believe I'm hearing this. Or that's kind of funny. It means what you are saying to me is very funny. I don't agree with it. And that's interesting. It's interesting that I'm hearing this from you because I know you're a good person and you're telling me this. You know that I like Amanda very much. Or, wow, you are something. You are something means, wow, you are different. You are trouble. You are, um, you'll get into trouble one day. 
oh my, you're a character. A character means your personality is different. You know, you're a character. Okay, some sentences here are a little bit too strong. So my advice to you is use the other sentences before instead of these. Okay, uh, next, let's have, I'm going to go back up. Ahmed, please read number seven to number 12. Are you out uh, of your wait, mind? Wait, 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 uh, Ahmed, this is just an example. So don't be afraid. I mean, don't, don't worry to say shut up to me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ahmed, I know that you respect me a lot. Okay. Ahmed, just read it. Okay. Okay. Number seven. Um, uh, Ahmed, Ahmed, I want to yeah. marry Valentina because I think she is rich. Are you out of your mind, <laughs> Andrew? <laughs> okay, Ahmed, you don't want me to marry Valentina because you are the one who wants to marry Valentina. Oh, shut up. That's not true. <laughs> um, Ahmed, um, I see that you're always uh, looking at um, Amanda, I think you like her. You're calling her your sister, your sister, but actually she's not. She, you just, you like her. I'll pretend you didn't say that. No, no, lower, lower. You see, I'll pretend you didn't say that. Oh, I'll pretend you didn't say that. Yeah, like some people, you know, they don't want to argue with you and they don't agree with you. So they will, they heard it, but they will say to you, I'll pretend you didn't, I'll pretend, I'll pretend you didn't say that. It means I will pretend I did not hear anything. Okay. When people say this to you, I'll pretend you didn't say that. Don't, don't continue because this person is trying to control himself. Okay. Um, um, Ahmed, um, um, no, I cannot joke about this. <laughs> Ahmed, just read it. <laughs> Ahmed, just read it. Number 10. Yes. Read the number 10. Okay. <clears throat> if I look no, that took, question took, seriously, took, took, took. yeah, okay. If I took that question seriously, that would be the end of our friendship, Andrew. Oh, come on. You can't leave me. <laughs> yeah, I can't, <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see, I can't comment on that. <laughs> Um, Ahmed, do you, do you love Alison? Number 12. Do you love Alison, Ahmed? No comment, Andrew. <laughs> Everybody, when people say number 11 and 12, I can't comment on that or no comment. I can't comment on that means I don't want to say anything about this. I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to answer your question. Or, but when you say no comment means no comment means I don't want to tell you my answer. Like, for example, Andrew, how old are you? He said, oh, come on, no comment. Oh, Andrew, do, Andrew, do you like Fiorella to be your wife? I can no comment. But everybody, I want to tell you something. When you say no comment, people will think. So let me fix this. <clears throat> When you say no comment, normally uh, the answer is yes. Because it's so easy to say no. Why you say no comment? You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so I hope you like this lesson, everybody. Um, you have no comment? Yeah, no, Roger.
was very helpful. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. <clears throat> okay, so I can see you. Everybody, these, this lesson, if you're, okay, you're, you're looking at it, you're looking at, at it today. But I just want to let you know that if you're able to master only 10 of them, because I gave you, I gave you 34 sentences of agree, and I think 32 of disagree. Now, in your life, you will always agree or disagree. If you can manage to memorize 10 of them, just choose the ones that you want to memorize. Use them when you don't agree with people. Try to choose the sentences that are appropriate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post this lesson on uh, Facebook and you can download and you, if you want, you can print it, print it, or you can take a picture. And so when you are on the bus or when you are with your husband, you're driving somewhere, you can take a look at it and you just look at it all the time and you will see it will become a part of your memory. <clears throat>